Welcome to Quack and Go, the board game channel where every video is 10 minutes or less guaranteed. And today we're asking the important question, should you back Hollywood 1947, a brand new social deduction game from Travis Hancock and from his company, Facade Games, which is owned and operated by him and his wife out of Hawaii, Ohio, has raised over $2 million in their career on Kickstarter and sold over 250000 games. It seems like there's a strong argument on behalf of this one, and after all, they've currently raised almost half a million dollars from 6,700 backers, so there's a lot of attention here. This is a series we do on Quackalope whenever a company, whenever a, a campaign crosses the coveted 2,000 backer mark, we break down their score based off of 10 categories, 10 points each, to get a 100 point score to let you know, is it a safe back, a reliable company, good quality production, a game that you might only be able to get through Kickstarter, all the questions you need to know to decide, should you back it. So let's start breaking this down. Let's start looking at this campaign. So Facade Games, uh, or Travis Hancock specifically, uh, is going to be a well-known, well-established publisher in the realm of these small box, book binding, uh, social deduction type games. This is not his first one. I think this is his sixth, I believe, which have delivered consistently, have been available at retail uh, repeatedly, uh, and are always usually around that uh, high six. I believe one has crossed into the uh, low six seven mark over on BGG. If you like this style of game, if you liked any of his previous titles, his publisher gets a 10 out of 10. They're reliable, they deliver, and they do good quality work for the audience that they have. It's one of the reasons why uh, different channels like No Rolls Barred, for instance, did a, uh, did a whole gameplay video on this just to advertise, share, and showcase this company who they enjoy working with and they enjoy playing. And I believe they did it completely for free. So they have fans and they have an audience. Uh, so 10 out of 10 there. Let's talk about the designer. The designer is going to be uh, the same designer as uh, Salem 1692, which has a high six in this. Now, it's the same designer of, I believe, all the games coming out of Travis Hancock's line. Uh, and I gave the designer here a seven out of 10. Now, the publisher, who's also the same person, is a reliable publisher. You'll get your game in hand. The reason why I dinged the designer is because this game isn't always going to be right for everyone. Very focused on the social deduction uh, genre of gameplay. It's where they know the best. Not all of their games have been uh, outstanding successes, but they've all been very strong within the high six range. Uh, so if this is your type of game, if you've played any of their previous titles, I think you can feel confident in knowing what type of experience you're going to be getting from this one. The question is the nuance and some of the changes. Does this make this more or less right for you in your gaming? group. So 7 out of 10. As far as reviews go, uh, 10 out of 10 on reviews. Great quotes on this. Uh, you can see some of them as I'm scrolling here. But then on top of that, like I said, they have a full gameplay over from No Rolls Bard, who's this giant social media empire that's growing from a whole YouTube channel dedicated to the wrestling side of the nerd culture world, now bridging over to the board game space. They do amazing gameplay videos, and they said they wanted to cover this just because they enjoyed it so darn much. In fact, I think part of the boon or part of the initial boost to this came from some of that initial coverage. On top of that, they have reviews and quotes from people who've playtested, who've experienced, from actual uh, you know reviewers over on social media, a wide range of people saying that this is one of the games that they like a lot. Uh, and they didn't hide away from long quotes either. Like this one, this is, this is, this is a beefy quote. That's a lot, a lot of commentary. So 10 out of 10. Quality. Quality is going to be an 8 out of 10. You will get an upgraded version of this. Um, if you, you can see the amount of reviewers we have here as I'm scrolling. Uh, you will get an upgraded version of this. Uh, the production quality is going to be what you expect when it comes from them. And the Kickstarter editions are going to be nicer than the comparative retail editions that they will have at a later point. So I put 8 out of 10. It's not going out of uh, its way to be extra nice. But it is going to be what you expect and high quality for the price point that you're getting. As far as exclusives, so there's going to be a few things that are exclusive here. First off, you're going to have gold foil uh, on the game box itself, and I believe inside, you're going to have three stickers. Both of those are kind of negligible exclusives in my opinion, but you are going to have all of the stretch goal, ex the stretch goals are gonna be exclusive, and the expansions are gonna be exclusive. Now, that's important because they're specifically Kickstarter exclusive, and they do offer all of their old titles every time they relaunch a Kickstarter project. 
So there are exclusive items here. There are items that will never be in retail. It does not mean that they'll be completely limited or completely hard to get though. So seven out of 10 on that. As far as retail, this is gonna be a three out of 10, probably the worst score. Yeah, the worst score on this sheet so far. They designed to go to retail. You won't have some of those exclusives. You won't have some of those deluxifications, but you will have the core gameplay experience available uh, if you decide that you wanna pick it up at a later time, or if you're not too worried about some of those extra bits and pieces. And you can see here, you know, the deluxified version's $40. Standard edition's gonna be $20. What's the difference? Well, you have to ask yourself that question. Is that $20 price point, is that $20 swing, does that improve your gameplay experience enough for you to justify getting it? Are you gonna love this game? Or is this gonna be another one that sits on your shelf? And you pull out when you have a big group, but you're not too stressed about how fancy it is. Uh, moving on down, we have the schedule. The production schedule gets a 10 out of 10, and the reason being is because they have successfully delivered. Like I said, high quality, high quality publisher, meets with a high quality production schedule. They have successfully delivered past projects on time at deadline, if not earlier. And so I expect them to do the same thing here. Um, they have a, if I can find it here, a production schedule that I believe that gets you this game uh, towards the end of the year. It's like a seven to eight month production timeline. It is a small box game. It's very similar to the other things they've created. Uh, only $5 shipping. So, you know, not, not too uh, uh, pricey there, but they are, yeah, I don't see the timeline I was looking for, but they, they should hit their mark on this. Uh, as far as value, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 when it comes to the value that you're getting. Uh, are you saving money? Well, kind of, uh, possibly not. It's it's kind of in that middle ground, right? They're, they're not charging a lot extra for shipping. So you're looking at about $45 when you're you know set and done with this project, which isn't a terrible place to be. You will have a retail version of this available. Uh, so you have to decide if some of those extra Kickstarter exclusives and extra upgrades are, are worth your, uh, you know, your money. But for what you're getting in terms of the value of the game for the price that they're asking, I think this is very competitive. It's within the range of what I would expect when it comes to these social deduction style games, especially with some of the deluxifications, especially coming from a publisher that has a good reputation. Uh, moving down to, so value is going to be at eight. Moving down to price, uh, I give them a six out of 10 on price because they will have all their other games available here. And not only that, but they will have all their other games, some of which have Kickstarter limited, Kickstarter uh, exclusive items that you might wanna purchase. So if you're buying this, there's a strong chance you'll pick up another title or grab some of the extra deluxifications you haven't had a chance to get in the past in the back end of the pledge manager. So you're looking at $40 as your base pledge. You might end up spending around 60 to 80 when all is said and done. So a doubling of the price between now and the final price that you pay uh, means that you're looking at a uh, six out of 10. So this final score is going to be a 69 out of 100, which is a very solid, very confident, very decent back with one big caveat, which is, is this your type of game? Have you played other titles from Facade Games before? Uh, do you feel confident in the publisher? Are you confident that this genre is something that you and your game group can table? If so, back this confidently. If not, you might want to wait till retail because it will be available and it will be available at a steeply discounted price, albeit without some of the Kickstarter exclusive or Kickstarter limited items. So let me know, are you backing this? And make sure to come back next time you're asking the question, should I back this? We'll see you next time.